Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang itindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 9. Multiplying mentally two digit by one to two digit numbers with product up to 200 and explain the strategies used. Objective. After going through this lesson, the students are expected to multiply mentally two digit by one to two digit number with products up to 200 including money mathematical problems, and real-life situations. Let's start by answering this question. Why mental computation important? Mental computation is very useful in your everyday living. Being able to compute mentally can save your time. The ability to quickly calculate complicated problems is also a valuable life skills. Whether you're trying to figure out how much your shopping cart is, how to split the bill at the dinner party, or trying to work out how many boxes you will need to pack all your groceries, or trying to figure out how much money left after making a purchase, mental math will make your life easier. Now, Let's try to compute the product of these factors. Can you compute the product of 48 times 2 mentally? I have an easy technique for you. First is to expand the multiplicand, which is 48. So we have 40 plus 8. Then multiply both numbers by our multiplier, which is 2. So, 40 times 2 is 80. Then, 8 times 2 is 16. Add the partial product. 80 plus 16 is 96. Therefore, 48 times 2 is equals to 96. Let's take a look at this example. Let's mentally calculate the product of 15 times 6. First is to expand the multiplicand, which is 15. So we have 10 plus 5. Then multiply both numbers by our multiplier, which is 6. 10 times 6 is equal to 60. Then 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Add the partial product. 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. Therefore, 15 times 6 is equal to 90. Now, let's check your mastery. In one minute, mentally calculate 33 times 6. Time's up! Let's check your work. 33 times 6 is equals to... First is to expand the multiplicand 33. So we have 30 plus 3. 
Then, multiply both numbers by our multiplier, which is 6. 30 times 6 is equals to 180. Then, 3 times 6 is equals to 18. Add the partial product. 180 plus 18 is equals to 198. Therefore, 33 times 6 is equals to 198. Now, what if we mentally multiply this number? 18 times 11. As you can see, there are two digit number in the multiplicand and there is also two digit number in the multiplier. We used to compute two digit number like this. 1 times 8 is equals to 8. Then 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8 and 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add the two partial product. We bring down 8. 1 plus 8 is 9, and then bring down 1. 118 times 11 is 198. Using this method will take us a while before we get the answer. But I have a technique where you can just simply get the answer in just 5 seconds. So, 18 times 11, first step is to multiply the 1's digit, which is 1 times 8, equals 8. Then, cross multiply, and then 1 times 1 is 1. 8 times 1 is 8. Add the two partial product. 8 plus 1 is equals to 9. Lastly, multiply the digit in the tens place. 1 times 1 is equals to 1. Therefore, 11 times 18 is equals to 198. Let's have another example. 15 times 13 is equals to... First step is to multiply the 1's digit, which is 3 times 5 equals 15. As you can see, the product is in the two digit numbers. So we just simply write 5 here and carry out 1. Then cross multiply 3 times 1 which is 3 and then 1 times 5 is 5. Add the product 3 plus 5 plus the one that we carry a while ago 1. The total is 9. Lastly, multiply the digit in the tens place. So, 1 times 1 is equals to 1. Therefore, 15 times 13 is equals to 195. Now, let's practice. Mentally multiply 38 times 13. Your timer starts now. Let's check your work. First step is to multiply the 1's digit, which is 3 times 8, 
equals to 24. As you can see, the product is in two digit numbers. So we will just write 4 here and carry out 2. Cross multiply 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 1 times 8 equals 8. Add the partial product, which is 9 plus 8 plus the one that we carry a while ago, which is 2. The total is 19. Again, the product is in two digits. So we will again write 9 here, then carry 1. Lastly, multiply the digit in the tens place. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 equals 4. Therefore, 38 times 13 is equals to 494. Remember, mental computation is one of the useful math concepts. It can help with all kinds of real-life problems. Practice so that you can improve your skills in multiplying two digits by one to two digit numbers mentally. Now, get a pen and paper to check your mastery in five minutes Find the product of the given factors mentally. Ready? Your timer starts now.
Let's check your work. Number 1. 17 times 3 is equals to 51. Number 2. 40 times 5 is 200. 15 times 12 is 180. 11 times 23 is 253. And 19 times 22 is 418. Did you get the perfect score? Excellent! If you learned from this video, don't forget to enroll in my channel by clicking the subscribe button and post notification bell for more updates. Once again, this is your teacher Joyce saying, Ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye! See you in our next lesson!